Hi there, this is Anub. Today we are going to talk about Microsoft Cloud Proxy. What is it? How you can implement a cloud proxy from Microsoft solution. You can use filtering rules, same as web proxy servers. And this proxy can be used for Mac OS and Linux devices as well. And it is very easy to implement because it is a cloud solution. For the basic Microsoft Cloud Proxy solution, you don't need to install any component on your data center it is part of one of their core solution we will find out what is Microsoft cloud proxy and what is the exact product how you can configure it and what would be the end user experience etc etc we'll see all those things in this video so don't skip it let's go ahead and check this out let's quickly check more details about Microsoft cloud proxy what is Microsoft cloud proxy what are the web proxy settings and what would be the end user experience from different browsers like Chrome Edge Opera Brave etc let's go to the next slide there are some prerequisites to enable the cloud proxy anti malware client version should be 418 1906 or above there are some licensing requirements as you can see over here these are the licensing requirement I'm not going to go into details of this but over here I have mentioned Microsoft Defender for endpoint plan plan 1 or plan 2 is required and that particular license is part of some of these suites and there are some prerequisites such as network protection should be enabled and we can deploy it using Intune policies you can get more details from the i button over here I will link the videos over there so you can check the videos where we have explained how to deploy network protection policies and how to enable that on Windows devices and then you need to enable the web content filtering option from settings endpoint so we will see that in the demo how to enable it how to create a web filtering policy etc let's go to the next slide what does Microsoft cloud proxy there's no product called Microsoft cloud proxy I wanted to say that up front the cloud proxy like component is web filter option in Microsoft Defender for endpoint this is the web content filtering option as you can see over here web content filtering is part of web protection capabilities in Microsoft Defender for endpoint and Microsoft Defender for business so that is basically Microsoft cloud proxy like solution so this is part of MDE web content filtering enables your organization to track and regulate access to websites based on their content categories these content categories are created by Microsoft and it will be out of box available the different types of category I think that is the global standard which Microsoft follows and why do we need web filtering option because many of these websites might be problematic because of complaints regulations bandwidth usage or other concerns as you can see different categories are here some of these categories are not required for your business so depending on that you need to block the content from these websites and as I mentioned before web content filtering or Microsoft cloud proxy is available on all the major web browsers for edge this is done via Microsoft Defender's smart screen and for other browsers it uses a technology called network protection for Chrome Firefox Brave Opera etc now let's go to the next slide if web filtering categories are not working for some of the websites such as chat GPT etc then you can use custom indicators in Microsoft Defender for endpoint we have explained this in detail in the previous previous video you can click on the i button in YouTube and you will find the video over there you can get more details over there how you can add URLs domains to block the execution of these types of websites etc this is only needed if the categorization of that website is not working as expected let's go to the next slide some of the limitations which you need to be aware of two hours propagation delay in policies that is normal in Microsoft Defender 
are for endpoint so you don't need to get panic that oh your policies are not getting enabled it might take two hours to enable the policies on the windows devices and all the other supported device platforms mac os and linux support is via network protection component and we cannot compare the windows support versus mac os linux support because microsoft is bringing mac os linux support with lot of features so you might need to wait for some time to get all the features available for mac os and linux linux devices another thing that you have to understand is warning and blocking for indicators will work only with windows devices at the moment as you can see over here other parts we have already discussed in the previous video about blocking chat gpt so you can click on i button and refer to that video very rich reporting capabilities are there in microsoft defender you can go to web protection reports and get detailed information about all the web threats detections and attempt to access to malicious urls and other web filtering reports on the client side you can run this powershell command to confirm whether the network protection is enabled for that particular device or not otherwise web filtering rules won't be working let's log into microsoft 365 defender portal and go to settings endpoints to configure the microsoft cloud proxy rules that is basically rules under rules you would be able to see something called web content filtering this is part of microsoft defender for endpoint and there's an option called create policies and if you click on create policies you need to provide the policy name first so i'm going to create a global policy now to block all the content by default for all the devices there are different types of categories blocked categories over here there are different segregations of categories this is by default available in microsoft defender similar to all the other cloud proxy solutions like mcafe cloud proxy and others so click on next once you selected all the blocked categories recommend by microsoft defender for endpoint and then select the scope in the scope you need to select the devices this is deployed to all the devices all the defender managed devices in this context because this is a global scope and if you want to exclude some devices from some of the categories you can do that later with a different policy so this is a very high level policy and below that you can have different policies you can see the scopes over there and click on submit to continue different categories are there as you can see the summary page will give you the different set of categories as i mentioned before and then you can click on submit button to continue before that you would be able to see the scopes scope of this particular policy general block category scope summary everything is there done click on done i just quickly refreshed the web page to get the latest policy if you click on that policy you would be able to see all the details what are the categories blog when is this created and the scope of the policy etc etc one more thing we need to do that is if you go to settings you will see an option if you scroll down if you scroll down a bit you will see an option called web content filtering this is by default off now you need to switch this on to enable the web filter filtering or cloud proxy from microsoft defender for endpoint i'm going to switch this on now it is on as you can see over here and click on save preferences to save this option and okay, now you can see the preferences are saved over here okay now we, we are all set to test the things in the client side now let's quickly check the things from the client side whether the prerequisites are met or not that is the first thing we can use powershell command to do that so we have deployed network protection policy to this particular device and you can see the network protection is enabled and the value is one that means enabled and it is blocked it says this website is blocked by your organization contact your administrator for more information it is a defender smart screen page okay go back let's launch chrome and check what is happening over there chat dot open ai
for your protection admin is not allowing you to access content from chat.openai okay over here you can see this message when you open the chrome browser what i'm going to do is to clear browsing data let's launch it again chat.openai.com Ah, it says access to chat.openai was denied don't have authorization to view this page http error 403 and over here you would be able to see a notification stating this content is blocked by it admin that means you are not allowed to access this particular website from chrome as well let's quickly check the reports over here go to reports over here in the microsoft 365 defender portal and then go to web protection under endpoint so you will get this particular report for example if i go over here and endpoints web protection this is where you will get this particular report for web threat detection over time that is one report where you can see a different color codes custom indicator has one hit as you can see over here and then unknown is one those are two color codes available for now one attempt to access malicious url okay it is not malicious url but we use indicators to block chat gpt for example and that is why it shows under malicious url report custom indicator because we use the custom indicator if you go to details over here you will get more details on this okay click on details and over here you would be able to see access count blocks and machines all those details if you click on that you will get the details over here url details and computer name over here you can drill down more about the urls etc etc but for this test scenario we have only one url and one device so that means if i go to endpoints over here and then if i click on indicators you can see two indicators which i created and both of them are working now let's check whether the web filtering apart from from the indicators are working or not we have already seen that indicators are working but let's check web filtering is working or not so for that i am going to use this particular website cwfcomodo.com so if you go to test pages over here in this and you would be able to see different categories and you can check that out so if i click on this ah it says it's not blocked it is still accessible from this device that's interesting okay but if you look at this particular website website you can see that this content is blocked by your it admin for your protection your it admin is not allowing access to content from dot com and it says unsupported protocol the client and server don't support a common ssl protocol version so this is from the chrome browser okay now let's check this in edge browser it says content is blocked for your protection your organization is not allowing you to access this particular website and it is from microsoft security and as you can see over here this particular website test website is not working anymore right so i don't recommend to use this particular website for checking the web filtering or microsoft cloud proxy filtering rules now that you have seen what is microsoft cloud proxy and this is nothing but microsoft defender for endpoint microsoft defender for endpoint provides a cloud proxy like solution for their customers so there is no additional license required if you already have microsoft defender for endpoint you will get this cloud proxy kind of solution for free and you have the filtering options categorization and if the categorization is not enough for you you have another options like custom indicators as we discussed in the last video where we were trying to block chat gpt so hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you around